Hello everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to design a necklace using the newest Softlex Company Design Kit, Sunset Splendor? I am also adding in a few beads from my collection, these beautiful rose quartz beads and they are from a bead shop in Placerville, California, Artistic Beads and Studio. And these little glass beads in purple from softlexcompany.com. And then all other beads are from the Sunset Splendor Design Kit. And I will leave a link down below for the products I am using. And then I'm just sprinkling in these little gold spacers for my collection. I'm using this beautiful bead. And this was from the exclusive bead mix for Jesse James Beads. Unfortunately, this did sell out. And just a little butterfly charm. And a couple yellow beads that were from a past Softlex design kit. Before we start creating, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. And also in the description, I will leave a link to the unboxing of this wonderful kit, as well as all other tutorials using the design kit. Let's start creating. So I'm using the medium Softlex wire in garnet. I already added one side of my necklace and I have my pattern kind of laid out here. We're just going to need a clasp of our choice and I'm just using a lobster cloth, two by twos and gold is what came in the design kit, a couple of jump rings, an eye pin, head pin, and beads of your choice. So such a beautiful kit. I really loved all the colors. Um, when I started designing this necklace, instead of a sunset, it kind of reminded me of a sunrise, but still the beautiful colors, just the oranges, um, and then just that little yellow with the glow, kind of like a little opal bead, the rose quartz, just to kind of give it a little bit of a dainty uh, pink color to it to match the fire polish pink. So you're just gonna design the necklace you would like. So I have mine here. And now we're going to work on our pendant. So I'm going to attach my little butterfly and one of the yellow beads. And we're just going to make a simple loop. Or if you want, you can use your one step looper. We're just going to slide it in to our plier, give it a squeeze, and we'll have a perfect loop. We want to make sure that our loop is completely closed. So we're just going to take our round nose pliers, make little adjustments if needed. Now we're going to take our eye pin with our round nose pliers and open up the bottom of the eye pin. And you can make your own head pins and eye pins using Softflex craft wire if you would like. And then we're just going to close back the eye pin. We're going to put this beautiful bead on. Just love the sparkle. When I originally saw these on a bead strand, um, I was sure I was going to make earrings out of it. But the more I looked at the beads in my collection, I was like, you know what? I think it's going to be a pendant. And you got two of them on the strand. And I have something planned very special for the second one. So stay tuned for that. The tutorial will be coming very soon. So we're just going to put it through our looper. We want to just give it just a little bit of wiggle room. We don't want to damage our bead and give it a squeeze and we have our loop. So we're just gonna make sure that our loop is completely closed. We don't, don't wanna lose our pendant. We're just gonna take a six millimeter jump ring and attach it to the loop that we just made. And when we're opening jump rings, we just wanna twist side to side, slide on our little component we made and give it a close. And you'll Hear like a little click and that's when it's secure. So we have our little pendant. So now we're going to finish adding the beads to our Softlex and this is just basic bead stringing. Slide my beads down a little bit and then we're going to slide our Softlex through that jump ring. Just love how all the colors blend together. These butterflies, they're kind of two-toned, so depending how the light hits them is what color you get on the butterfly. Now we're just going to add on our beads to our Softlex wire. What did everybody think of the design kit? Comment down below. So we'll just add on our beads. 
And also when you're working on the Softlex spool, it acts as a bead stopper. So you just keep adding the amount of Softlex you need for your project. So we're gonna add on all the rest of our beads. And then we will attach our clasp. So we have all the beads added on our necklace. We're just going to bring in our clasp and our jump rings and two by twos. And I like attaching my clasp or my bracelet to a jump ring. So in the future, if I want to extend the length of my necklace or shorten it, instead of having to restring the whole project, you could just open a jump ring. Um, you could switch out your clasp or adjust the length. So we're going to slide on a two by two. So we're going to slide on a two by two and one jump ring. And also when you're using a lobster claw, the jump ring acts as the other part of your clasp. Then we're just going to slide our soft flex wire back through the two by two. We want to give it just a little bit of wiggle room. Let our soft flex wire show in the back of our project. We're going to take our pliers and give it a little smash. Just come in and rotate and this will give it a more professional finish. And then this little tail, we're just going to tuck under the next bead. And then we're just going to slide down our project. And for the second jump ring, we're just going to open and attach our clasp. So we're just going to slide. We're just going to do a gentle twist. Slide on our lobster claw and give it a close. You want to make sure it's completely closed. Make sure all of our beads are at the end of the soft flex. Then we're just going to trim a nice little length to work with from the spool. Slide on our two by two. our clasp, we're just going to pass back through our two by two. We want to make sure that our loops are fairly the same size. And we're just going to give it a little smash and rotate or just take the pliers and give it a little trim. You can always save your soft flex for another project. And we have our beautiful sunset splendor necklace with rose quartz beads and some yellow crystals. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. And also in the description, I will leave links to all other tutorials using this fantastic design kit, as well as necklace inspiration. Have an awesome day.